Welcome back creators. Today we're exploring top trending and open source GitHub projects this week. Part 1, where you'll discover powerful real tools from AI agents to backend systems that you can start using right now. You'll meet projects like Mastra, a TypeScript AI agent framework, and Terso Database, a lightweight SQL engine with vector search that help you build smarter apps and services. Let's dive in and see what you can build. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, Mastra, TypeScript AI Agent Framework for Apps. Imagine exploring a toolkit that helps you build smart assistants and automated workflows the way you'd write regular software. That's Mastra, an open-source AI agent framework written in TypeScript and designed to power real-world AI applications without stitching together dozens of libraries. It provides all the building blocks you need to go from prototype to production-ready AI services, with first-class support for agents that reason decide which tools to use and iterate until a task is complete. Mastra's modern stack integrates tightly with JavaScript ecosystems like React, Next.js, and Node, so you can embed intelligent agents into UIs, servers, or standalone services with minimal friction. It comes with model routing that lets you switch among 40-plus LLM providers, OpenAI, Claude, Gemini, Llama, and more, through a unified interface, workflow orchestration for complex multi-step logic, then dot branch, dot parallel, and human-in-the-loop features that let agents pause and await user input before continuing. Other standout capabilities include context and memory management for persistent conversations, RAG pipelines, observability and evaluation tools, so you can trace and improve performance over time. Mastra targets developers and teams building assistance, research tools or autonomous workflows, giving them type-safe primitives, powerful orchestration, and end-to-end -end control. Give it a try and see how quickly you turn ideas into reliable AI systems. Project number two, Sosumi AI. AI-friendly Apple Developer Docs Converter. Here's something that feels like the future for developers asking AI about Apple's documentation. So Sumi AI is an open source project that makes Apple Developer Docs readable and usable by AI systems and tools that struggle with Apple's JavaScript heavy pages. Apple's official docs are rendered with client-side scripts that hide the actual content from many LLMs and AI assistants. So Sosumi works as an intermediate renderer that delivers structured documentation in plain, AI-friendly markdown instead of obscured HTML. The idea is simple but powerful. When you replace an Apple Docs URL like developer.apple.com with a sosumi.ai address, the service fetches the underlying JSON, strips away the browser-only wrappers, and produces clean markdown text and structured tools such as a search endpoint, search Apple documentation, and direct fetch endpoint, fetch Apple documentation for API docs and human interface guidelines. This project matters because it unlocks reliable access to Apple's extensive Swift, SwiftUI, UIKit, and platform docs for AI agents, LLM-based search tools, or any system needing structured doc context, enabling better code suggestions, summaries, or assistant responses. It's especially useful for developers and AI tool builders who want fast, accessible, and AI-compatible documentation without manual copying and pasting. Give it a try and feel how much easier Apple Docs become to query with your AI tools. Project number three, Pergent, Python first lightweight AI agent framework. Imagine exploring a toolkit that feels like a clean canvas for building intelligent assistance. That's Pergent, a modern open source Python framework designed to help developers create AI agents with simplicity and control. It gives you a clear API and built-in features, so you focus on logic, not boilerplate code. Pergent stands out by offering advanced tracing, so you can log every action, decision, and API call your agent makes, history and memory management to retain context across interactions, and seamless integration with large language models. Its Python-centric design means it fits naturally into data science workflows and backend services while remaining lightweight and easy to install. Because it's scoped around agents and tooling, you can spin up powerful multi-step workflows, connect custom tools, and orchestrate tasks without wrestling with low-level plumbing or third-party dependencies. The project stays active with recent commits and builds on a permissive open-source license that encourages experimentation and reuse. Pergent is ideal for developers, AI engineers, and researchers who want type safety, clarity, and real-world observability when creating autonomous AI services. 
Try it and see how these Python agents can simplify your AI workflows. Project number four, Prisma Client Python. TypeSafe Python ORM driven by Prisma. Imagine your Python backend talking to your database as clearly as if it were a native Python object, without the usual ORM guesswork. Prisma Client Python is an open-source, auto-generated database client that gives Python developers modern type-safe access to databases like SQLite, Postgres, MySQL, and more by leveraging Prisma's powerful query engine. It integrates with a Prisma schema file where you define your data models, and from there the CLI generates a Python-friendly client that lets you write queries with full static typing, autocomplete, and both asynchronous or synchronous support. Under the hood, Prisma Client Python uses Prisma's Rust-based query engine, so you get efficient, reliable queries and rich features like atomic updates, complex relations, and batching, all exposed naturally through Python classes and methods. This means fewer bugs, better editor support, and more confidence as you develop APIs, GraphQL services, or backend logic that touches a database. Although the original maintainer archived the project and development has slowed, it remains a promising tool for Python backends, seeking a modern ORM-like experience with strong typing and Prisma-style workflows. Try Prisma Client Python and feel how much simpler and type-safe your database queries become. Project number 5. Goose, local AI agent that automates development tasks. Imagine a smart assistant living on your own machine that not only suggests code, but actually builds, tests, edits, and executes it for you. That's what Goose delivers. It is an open-source AI agent designed to help developers automate complex engineering workflows directly from the command line or desktop app with real actions, not just text responses. Goose goes beyond simple code suggestions by reading and writing files, running tests, managing dependencies, and interacting with your tools, all while you stay in control. Built to be extensible and flexible, Goose works with any large language model, LLM that supports tool calling, and lets you configure multi-model setups to balance performance and cost. With the Model Context Protocol MCP, it connects to thousands of existing integrations, from GitHub automation to cloud APIs, so your agent can reach beyond local code and interact with real services. Projects in Goose automatically track your working directory and session context, making it easy to pick up where you left off, without losing history. It's built for developers, DevOps engineers, and AI tool creators, who want autonomy, real-world task execution, and seamless integration with existing workflows. Try Goose and watch how much time you save on the tasks you'd rather never repeat. Project number 6, Agents.md, Standard Instructions File for AI Coding Agents. Imagine a file that acts like a teacher's guide for AI helpers working on your code. That's what agents.md is. It's an open format markdown file, not a traditional app or library, used by AI coding assistants to understand your project structure, conventions, build steps and workflows in one predictable place. Think of it as a readme written specifically for AI agents, telling them how to install dependencies, run tests, navigate the code base and follow project rules. Projects across the open source world increasingly include an agents.md because AI agents perform better when given clear, structured context instead of guessing from scattered docs or noisy remis. With agents.md, MD you can include setup commands, style guidelines, test instructions, and even pull request rules so the AI knows exactly how to contribute without breaking conventions. This format matters now because more coding agents, like GitHub Copilot's Agent Mode, OpenAI's Codex Tools, and other AI assistants, read agents.md first to align generated code with your project's expectations. It's built for developers and teams who want consistent, predictable AI behavior in their workflows, giving them better code quality, fewer context errors, and smoother collaboration between human and AI contributors. Give agents.md a look and see how much easier AI-powered coding becomes. Project number 7, Refly AI, Visual AI Workflow and Creation Workspace. Imagine exploring a canvas where your ideas, AI tools, and creative workflows live together like pieces of a puzzle you can move, connect, and run. That's Refly AI, an open-source agentic workspace built to blend human insight with AI execution across complex, multi-step tasks. It's written mostly in TypeScript, and centered around a free-form Canvas interface, where you drag and connect nodes representing chat queries, web content, code snippets, documents, or other building blocks to create sophisticated workflows without writing glue code. 
Refly matters now because it brings intervenable agents to your fingertips. You can pause, review or modify a workflow mid-execution instead of treating the AI as a black box, making automation and decision flows transparent and controllable. It's akin to visual programming, but powered by large language models and context memory, and it integrates a copilot that interprets your natural language descriptions and generates tasks for you. The platform supports knowledge base integration, multi-threaded conversations on the canvas, templates for common scenarios, and a marketplace to publish shareable workflows. It's aimed at creators, researchers, analysts, and knowledge workers who want real-world automation, structured output, and creative productivity without deep coding. Explore it once and feel how smoothly AI-assisted creation and multi-step workflows can become part of your daily process. Project number eight, Terso Database. Lightweight, SQLite compatible database for modern apps. Imagine a tiny database engine that feels like SQLite on steroids, ready to run everywhere from your laptop to the browser and even in millions of agent sandboxes. That's the story behind Terso Database, an open source Rust built SQL database designed for the age of AI, edge apps, and distributed systems. It's fully SQLite compatible, so existing SQL code tools and drivers just work. Yet Terso adds modern capabilities needed for today's apps, like native vector search for AI retrieval augmented workflows, async I.O. for responsive operations, and upcoming concurrent writes without locking for performance at scale. Unlike traditional databases tied to a single server, Terso works embedded on devices, in the browser via WebAssembly, or in the cloud with Terso Cloud Services, giving developers flexibility, local first, offline capable experiences, or globally distributed databases with sync and replication. It supports client libraries in many languages, Go, JavaScript, Python, Rust, and more, and aligns with modern workflows by letting apps store, search, and serve structured data with low latency. On the cloud side, Terso also offers features like branching, analytics, team access, and managed scaling, so teams can collaborate without managing infrastructure. Built for developers building AI agents, offline-first mobile apps, or real-time distributed systems, Terso gives them performance, compatibility with existing SQL ecosystems, and new primitives like vector search for AI use cases. Try it and see how smoothly a familiar SQL database can grow into the next generation. Project number nine. RetroArch, universal emulator front-end for classic systems. Imagine stepping back into your favorite classic games and having them all run under one polished, unified system, no matter whether you're on a PC, phone, handheld, or console. RetroArch is a free, open-source, cross-platform front-end that makes that possible by acting as the central hub for hundreds of emulators, engines, and multimedia programs. It's the reference implementation of the Libretro API, a simple interface that lets emulator cores plug in and run seamlessly without rewriting video, audio, or input logic for every platform. At its core, RetroArch is not a single emulator. It's a flexible framework written in CC++ that loads dynamic libraries called Libretro cores, representing emulators for systems like NES, SNES, PlayStation, Game Boy, Sega, and many others. RetroArch handles the menus, video output, controller input, audio, and advanced features like multi-pass shaders, net play, rewinding gameplay, real-time filters, and unified settings, giving you a consistent experience across all systems. It's been ported to dozens of platforms, from Windows and Linux to Android, iOS, handhelds, and even web, via mscripten, making it a go-to choice for retro gamers, developers, and hobbyists who want one front-end to rule them all. Explore RetroArch and feel how your favorite classics come alive with modern convenience and power. Project number 10, the Effect Patterns Hub. Practical coding patterns for Effect TS. Imagine you're learning a powerful new programming model and wish someone had already distilled the best ways to use it. That's the idea behind the Effect Patterns Hub. It's an open source, community-driven knowledge base that collects practical patterns and idiomatic solutions specifically for the Effect TS ecosystem, a functional typed effect system for TypeScript. Rather than being a library or framework you install, Effect Patterns is more like a pattern cookbook, where contributors share concise, reusable examples and design practices for real-world problems in Effect TS apps. You'll find patterns around conditional logic, composition, streams, error handling, resource management, execution strategies, and more, all structured so you can learn how to structure your code the right way instead of reinventing solutions from scratch. Because EffectTS emphasizes type safety, 
asynchronous control and composability in large applications, having a curated set of proven patterns helps developers avoid common pitfalls and write clearer maintainable code. The hub grows with community contributions and recently added entries on topics like resource scopes and agent patterns, reflecting active engagement from practitioners. This resource is built for TypeScript developers, tool builders, and anyone adopting EffectTS who wants confidence and clarity in how to apply functional patterns. Give it a look and feel how much easier your effect code becomes with established best practices at your fingertips. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this roundup, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment which repo you loved most, and enable notifications so you don't miss part 2. Don't forget to star these GitHub projects and try their demos linked in the description. And if you know more cool open source tools I should cover next time, drop your suggestions in the comments.